Hello YouTube, Lena back again. Well, thinking about everything that's going on, I was tempted to do this reading. So the question is really, is the Republican Party on life support? I think it's quite fascinating in the sense that they control all arms of government and yet they're performing so spectacularly badly. And part of that, I think, is because the evangelicals have taken over the social discourse and so one has to apologise in any way for being different and their tolerance is so poor for anybody who isn't Anglo and mated up with their heterosexual partner and bringing up their very conservative children. So I could say a lot more about that, but I don't want the video to be too long. So what I'm going to do now is have a good look at what's happening for the GOP generally. Okay, so let's see what is going on. The Republican Party, the party of the sort of narrow-minded hypocrites, it's not only the social issues, it's broader political issues in the sense that they tend to control um, the ideas around what working families should think and do. So you have a situation where working families, by voting Republican, actually vote against themselves and people vote themselves out of health care. It's quite bizarre, particularly when you come from a country like Australia or the UK or Canada or Italy or Spain or Greece or anywhere really that has universal health care. We do not understand what is wrong with you guys in health care. Uh, I think it comes down to being allergic to raising taxes. Uh, other countries do it. In Australia we just have a 1.5% levy on our taxes that pays for Medicare. So you can have a long-term illness, a very severe series of medical interventions and operations and it doesn't cost you a cent because it's all funded by our Commonwealth Government. At the same time, if you do earn good money, you can be privately insured and everything that that means, the advantages of that, but it also means that your family is not sent to the cleaners because someone is disabled or ill. So. I really don't understand the Republican Party in this sense, uh, even though I'm familiar with their other more dogmatic points of view about everything because we have them too and the Christian right in Australia is gathering momentum as we speak, but they wouldn't dream of tackling healthcare. Okay. So what is going on for the grand old party, which must have named itself? The GOP, what's coming up for the GOP? All right, the signifying card for this reading. <laughs> ah, yes, death. Really? Death. Um, I did jokingly refer to this as should the GOP be on life support and here comes the death card. They've got to be very careful because thanks to Bernie Sanders, who was the first person in two generations to say, why are we as a first world country, meaning America, behaving in this way? And I think it could be the beginning of the end for the Republican Party as we know it. Um, it's not to say right-wing bigots won't form other parties. I'm sure they're more than capable of doing that. It's not that they can't upset things. It's not that they can't pass a lot of terrible laws. And particularly with Trump nominating these hideous people for the Supreme Court, and I think they're there for life, that is a very serious worry. But despite the power they have conventionally held, the answer to the question is there in card one, really. Yes, they are on life support. So I'm going to pull the cards now, looking at their past, present and future. And coming 
coming up here is a series of very interesting cards. If you look at this column, which is their past, um, they're already a bit brokenhearted might be too strong a word. I don't know if that's really what it's symbolizing rather than they're a very hard-hearted party. So maybe some of these issues are finally piercing their heart. <laughs> but conventionally, in terms of tarot interpretations, this is quite a, a savage card representing heartbreak. It's underscored by the card of disappointment. And remember here we're dealing with the fairly recent past. So they've been disappointed in their own performance. Well, yes, they should be. They've been appalling. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles representing money and Aces representing a primary force. So the Ace of Pentacles is that real push to support those with money. It's about money. It pretends to have um, this moral cloak, but really it's about the money. Now, if you look, I call these cards in the Rider Waite deck, the Hand of God cards. All the Aces have this mysterious Hand of God going on here. But if you look below, there's um, this gap in the hedge and my interpretation of that is repeated experiences, keeping going round in a loop, keeping going back through it. So not quite making good on their promise of if you protect the rich guys, everyone benefits. It's simply not true. We're now 40 years into neoliberalism, into that neoconservative thinking that if you just make everything all right for corporate America or corporate companies all over the world, then workers benefit. That has not been the case. I don't know why people keep pushing that line, but they do. Coming to their current situation now. Here we have the eight of staffs, eight of wands. It's about projecting quite violent and quick psychological weapons against people, or in fact, receiving it. So depending which side of the card you're on and, and looking at it as a whole Republican party, I think they're throwing out their spears or wands, but they're also getting a lot. For the first time in many years, they're actually getting a lot of flat for these outdated ideas. Bang in the center of the reading. I swear I did not fix these cards. The Emperor Trump, he's in the middle of it. So we should all be on our knees thanking Trump because if you're not a fan of the Republican Party, he's done more to destroy it than would have been thought possible in several lifetimes. So there he is, center stage, beautiful. More wands, page of wands. So the page of wands conventionally represents a younger person who's out there and the ones representing uh, the capacity for willpower and oratory and so forth. The big problem confronting the Republicans, I think, is recruiting the next generation. Because as people look to their policies and the failure of their policies, I think they'll have to answer for that, lest we forget the death card on top of this entire reading. Their immediate future, we have the Fool. What I'm picking up from this reading in this context is they would be seriously foolish to keep going the way they are, because if they do, they're going to walk right off the cliff. So in other words, it's a case of adapt or die. And that is the challenge facing the current Republican Party, adapt or die either become more inclusive, become more humane, or you're just going to disappear off the face of the earth as a major political force. Another hand of God. 
this time with the swords. So swords, just reminding you, representing the intellect, the power of ideas, the power of communication. Um, in a more positive reading that didn't lead with the death card, in a more positive light, it would be cutting through the crap, you know, clearing the way, new ideas. But in the context, I'm more interested in the top of the sword here, which has the crown. And if you look at the wreath, which traditionally was the Greek wreath of victory, it's looking a bit limp. It's looking very limp. So in other words, when I look at it in conjunction with the fool, if they persist with these old ideas and just expressing them more forcefully, they're not going to benefit from that position. Next, the card of the manipulator, the juggler. So they're keeping the balls in the air. They still control the White House, Senate, House of Reps. Um, and they are keeping these balls in the air, but time is running out and it's a dance, as you can see from this figure doing a sort of jig. Um, jugglers can only juggle for so long. The best juggler in the world is going to get tired and start dropping some balls. So what does this mean for the GOP? To me, this is a sign. Again, it's a cups meaning emotion. I think people are walking away from the Republican Party. And that's a number of different people, even though it's a single figure here. If you look at the number of cups, to me, there are people who are leaving like Joe Scarborough, who was a dyed in the wool Republican, who's now declared himself independent. But I think you're going to see more people walking away because it's hard to defend their disgusting and vacuous support for a man who's as cruel and fundamentally inadequate as Trump. So I see this as people walking away. Okay, that's my take, my update for you on the Republican Party. See you again. Bye.